Additive manufacturing models are built by joining single layers of equal thickness contoured in an XY plane two-dimensionally. The three-dimensional models are very accurate on the building plane stepped in the Z direction, the smaller the Z step is the more the model looks like the original. We are going to discuss about the three main 3D printing technologies. The first is the liquid-based print. The second is the powder-based print. The third is the extrusion-based print. Liquid-based print. Stereolithography. Laser stereolithography is based on the point-wise solidification of photosensitive monomers, polymerization. It consists of a container of liquid monomer, the installation space, a construction platform and a laser scanner unit. After solidification of a layer the construction platform is lowered by one layer thickness. And finally it realizes layer solidification by a row sequence of single consolidations, voxels. Advantages of Stereolithography Stereolithography is one of the most accurate additive manufacturing processes. In general, the volume of the support is significantly less than than other additive processes. Can be assembled from single partial models join the parts using the same photosensitive resin. Disadvantages of Stereolithography It is restricted to photosensitive material. In resin development the focus is on cross-linkability with UV radiation. It is a two-step process. The models are first solidified to a high percentage, over 95%. Afterwards the component must be cleaned with solvents and it must be placed into a post-curing oven to build up further cross-linkages. Let's move on to the second technology. Powder-based print Laser sintering Powders or granules are used for the formation of a defined solid layer. They are partially melted or melted in the respective layer level by an energy source and solidified after cooling into a solid body. Additive manufacturing sintering requires only a short thermal activation for melting non-adjacent particles in the powder bed. Particles of 50 to 100 mm are closely packed and then slightly melted locally by a laser beam. Then are solidified by cooling due to heat conduction. And are joined together to form a firm layer. The process chamber is preheated up to almost melting temperature. The energy source adds a small amount of energy for the sintering. For plastics the component is completely enclosed in a powder cake. The powder cluster is pulled out and the exceeding powder is blown off. Advantages of Laser Sintering Sintering can be applied to all materials that behave thermoplastically and this gives an unlimited choice. The components are mechanically and thermally loadable and can be used as a functional model or as final products. Powder not thermally affected can be recycled into the process. In contrast there are many significant disadvantages. The achievable accuracy of the model is basically limited by the size of the powder particles and the beam diameter. Internal hollow spaces are more difficult to clean than with stereolithography. The heating and cooling processes are very time consuming. Last but not least, let's move on to the extrusion-based print technology. Fused Deposition Modeling Thermoplastics are supplied in wire on rolls, melted partially and extruded. The nozzle head is guided by an XY plotter in the building plane. Raw material is heated in an electrically heated nozzle head to just below melting temperature and joins the viscous material to the previous layer. The nozzle head gap is set to the previous layer to about half of the nozzle diameter. 
Supports can be quickly removed without damaging the model and without tools by breaking by hand. The extrusion processes belong to the well-known thermal plastic extrusion processes. It includes variants that operate with pastes or foams that are physically or chemically processed from solid basic materials. The relatively large cross-section of material limits the achievable degree of detail of the models. Advantages of Fused Deposition Modeling The use of single nozzle extrusion processes allows to apply a relatively large amount of material within a relatively short time. The resulting structures are solid. Solvents and similar agents are unnecessary. The number of simultaneously applicable materials is limited only by number of extrusion heads. Disadvantages of Fused Deposition Modeling At first, structures finer than the extrusion width and details smaller than double the track width cannot be produced. Secondly, the start of the extrusion always incurs a scab that remains externally visible. Thirdly, some materials tend to form filaments or condensate. Finally, the components are very rough and have pronounced anisotropies, due to the nozzle cross-section. Hey don't forget to subscribe, like and follow our page. Goodbye.